Okay, so I'm going to use a breathing exercise um, that uh, we use to help develop the Hatha breathing. And I'm going to use a particular style of breathing uh, that we call Aum breathing. And this one involves an inhalation through the open mouth, exhalation is through the nose. Uh, a little bit more dynamic uh, external style of breathing, but still using the Hatha principle. So we're going to use the meter uh, to help uh, demonstrate this and also evaluate develop it as a practice technique. Um, so I'm going to stand with knees a little bit wider than hip width apart, bent knees, and I'm just going to go ahead and do the exercise. Here we go. So um, it's, there's a two-part sequence uh, with an inhale and an exhalation, one for each. <clears throat> I'm going to do it once and then explain a little bit. So what I'm doing here, the first breath with the hand movement, so the inhalation is to bring air into the chest cavity, uh, all the way down into the hata, lower belly. And at the top of the inhalation, there's a pause to consolidate or set the hata, um, establishing that pressure, which should be evidenced on the meter. And then the first exhalation with the hands going down, this is really being used to establish my base. So connecting down, sending my pressure down uh, here and through my feet into the floor. Second inhalation is my arms coming up overhead. Top of the inhalation, setting again. That means establishing the pressure centered at the hara. And then the hands are coming out in an opening position. So I'll go through that one more time. <clears throat> This is a fairly dynamic style of breathing. It builds a lot of energy already. I'm sweating a little bit just from those two repetitions. Um, wouldn't always have to be practiced at the highest degree of intensity, but that's a good place to start and then starting to bring it back. But the meter is always going to be providing you good information um, about the length, the quality, and the consistency of your